I tell the medical students, right on the back of your stethoscope, there's a person in there. So it's a reminder that uh, we're taking care of people, not just fixing machines uh, or bodies that happen to be broken. UTA's Associate Professor of Practice, Dr. Stephen Gelman, founded the Medical Humanities Program in 2018 with a PowerPoint presentation to the Liberal Arts Dean. These are the topics that we never talked about when I went to medical school. I never had a lecture on hope or empathy or compassion or pain and suffering. It was sort of expected you'd sort of learn that along the way. But I think it's really important. Uh, it's part of understanding the patient's perspective on the uh, healthcare experience. So that's uh, what I hope to focus on in the program there. As the program grew, Dr. Gelman knew that there was a need for a medical humanities club. In the club, students with a shared interest in medicine are able to come together and expand their knowledge on empathy, communication, and humanity in medical health. The club is the greatest part of the program of medical humanities here on campus because it's an opportunity for the students to get involved, uh, to do activities, to bring speakers. We had an outdoor fair. The club has a symposium. Uh, it provides an opportunity for students to interact with other students who have similar interests. The club has a journal. Uh, it's called Stimulus, a medically managed journal. Students are able to contribute to the journal and have their name on it as an official artist or author depending on what they contribute. So today we are creating Valentine's Day cards for a memorial hospital in Fort Worth where we will give it to the patients that are, you know, in the hospital that maybe they don't receive a card or, you know, they need to just need some type of encouragement that, you know, they are appreciated, they are known, they are out there. For more information on Mavericks for Medical Humanities, check out their Instagram at medhumanities.uta.